It's not easy to start and grow your YouTube channel. It isn't easy. There is so much information online that you can't possibly know what to do with it if your strategy doesn't work. You might not see any results. Start a YouTube channel. You must set a clear goal. What do you want to achieve with your track? Perhaps you want to build a more prominent brand to market your business. You might even sell your product. Perhaps you're looking for another source of income. So it would help if you had some extra cash at the end of the month. Perhaps you are even trying. You want to build a career and make good money in the future. No matter your motivation for starting, it must go beyond the money. You're creating something. YouTube is not a place to create videos for profit. Unless there are exceptional cases, it won't be profitable within the first few months or even years. Before you can start monetizing, you need to build an audience. There are many steps involved. You must be open to creating videos without expecting to make any money. Your YouTube journey will continue for a period. YouTube isn't for you if making videos isn't something that interests you. You can also do many other things to make extra money. YouTube channels are just like businesses, there is always a chance of them failing. While many channels have been successful, many others have failed. This means you're very likely to fail. This video will show you how to. YouTube can dramatically reduce the chance of your failure. Follow me to the end. You'll be able to learn some great tips to help you reach more people and grow your audience. These strategies are all organic and don't include any hacks or tricks. These are based on fundamental marketing principles and the well-known YouTube algorithm. Who is this video for? If you find yourself in either of these situations, this video will help you. Number 1. You have a YouTube channel and subscribers. Small audience who follows your content regularly. Your small audience interacts with you. Every time you upload a video, your fans are there. The problem is that you are stuck. You won't be able to reach more people interested in your product. This video will demonstrate how you can do it. Number 2. You don't yet have a YouTube channel but plan to create one soon. A strategy is essential to increase your chances of success. That's why you're here. This article will show you how to make a great beginning. How to organize your channel to reach as many subscribers as possible. If you are unable to relate to either of these situations. This video may not be for you. If you are ready to learn, however. Keep watching, and you won't regret it. Smart Simplified hates wasting time. So, get ready to take lots and lots of notes because we have much to share. Number 1. Decide exactly what content you want to deliver. It doesn't matter if your channel is already established or you are considering starting one. You must decide what content you will share with your followers. YouTube has many channels that fail because they are too broad. For even their creators to describe their content. No one will follow you if your channel is a master of none trades constantly shifting between niches and industries. It is best to focus on one thing and then see if that works. You should experiment to see which works best, but you should also consider the long term. No one will follow you if your channel is a master of none trades. Imagine yourself as a professional skydiver. This is what you have been doing for many years. Now, you are looking for a job. Someone who likes skydiving on YouTube. You'd love to see more content on this topic. A small channel makes a video about skydiving. You like it so much you start your channel. You decide to visit the channel of its creator for more skydiving videos. However, once you are on their channel, it has nothing to do with skydiving. It has nothing to do with any topic. Videos are available in any case. How to cook lobster, win a marathon, travel videos. Makeup tutorials and everything. You will subscribe to this channel. No. It would help if you did stick to the same. It is up to you to decide what content to create. It's okay to post something new every once in a while. But, you should stick it would help if you stuck time with your original idea most of the time. How do you make the right decision? I know it's not easy. Like me, you are interested in many subjects. You can experiment to find out what works best. You can avoid growth barriers by choosing a topic that is not as popular. It's not easy to expand your gaming channel. 
you have a better chance of success if you make videos about how to find a cool rock. Since there aren't many channels that do this, it is always amazing to see how many people are using these channels. Interest in topics that aren't immediately obvious can lead to failure because of the lack of demand. You may like something. Many people like the same thing. To choose your topic. You can do anything in marketing that is not very common. Combine two niches to create a new one. To create an attractive new channel with topics that have never been covered. It is essential to be original. This can be made more accessible by focusing on two passions. Combine them. Define your avatar. Your target audience should influence the content you create. This is the content that I am referring to. Approach to your videos, everything from your intro to the way you speak to your audience marketing, is all about. An avatar is a virtual person. This is your ideal person. Your avatar is your target. Spend some time defining your avatar's characteristics. Everything starts with age to occupation and hobbies to financial position. Clarity is the key to success. The greater your knowledge of what you want, the better the chance you will find it. Number 2. Add value. You must bring something to the table, just like in business negotiations. It may not be the right kind of thing. The value that can be measured economically could include anything from education to entertainment. You give people a reason to follow your example if you add value. You can create content to deliver and support click with actions. That's why you should avoid clicking baity titles or thumbnails. In this video, we'll talk about thumbnails. Focus on the value. You can deliver. Why should they follow your channel? This question is answered in every video. Results will follow. Number 3. Shareable content. Organically gaining followers is possible in two ways. Shareable content. Videos that can be viewed in a similar way. This makes people feel part of a larger group. Searchable content. The type of content that can be searched. People actively search for YouTube videos in the YouTube search bar. First, I will cover sharing range. Then we'll talk about searchable content later in this video. If you can create exclusivity around your channel or community, people are more likely to share their experiences with others to show off the cool new communities. You can do this by giving a name to your local community. Instead of calling your followers subscribers or fans, you might refer to them as riders, supporters. You can use them to promote your channel. You might create content about mountain biking. You could refer to them as riders, suggesting they are more than subscribers. You can also increase shareability by creating content that people enjoy. It is something that people are proud to watch. It must be something people agree with or desire to be identified with. As you could, for example, create a video with proud if your channel is focused on writing. To be a writer, and if other writers agree with your ideas, they will share them. Are you still with me? Good. Let's now talk about the other source. Number 4. Create searchable material This is organic and follows the earlier steps. The basic principle. People won't find your videos if they don't search for them. What's the solution? Find out the needs of your target audience and create content that matches. They want what they need. Perhaps your audience is looking for information on how to achieve something. Next, create a tutorial about that topic. YouTube's algorithm is mighty and might attention. You're more likely than others to rank higher in search results if you make, how, and, why, videos. This principle can be applied to your subsequent uploads. If you do it correctly, the algorithm will work. You will fall in love. Number 5. Consistency and quality. Consistency this is one you already know about. But, many people don't know this rule. You must be active to keep your viewers interested. Keep in touch with your followers and engage them. Post at least once per week. The more, the better. The more you share, the better. This is because people don't forget you and are always looking for you. We look forward to seeing more of your videos. Quality. Low quality content is not pleasant. No one is going to be there to see you hiking. If the video is too blurry and it isn't easy to hear you because of the wind, vlog us. 
We all have the equipment we need to make decent videos these days. You are most likely using it to view this video right now. Take an extra step, and remember that. Quality is more important than quantity. It is well worth the effort. Number 6. Title, Thumbnail, and Description. Thumbnail. Be outstanding. To grab the viewers, the text must be large and bold. It must accurately describe the contents of the video and generate curiosity. It gives the thumbnail more context if it includes a photo of you. This is a way to make the video stand out and show the viewers what the result will look like. Keep the text in your thumbnails short and to the point. Title. It is essential to be clear about the results people can expect when they watch your videos. Why should they watch your videos? What can they expect from the video they communicate clearly and keep it relevant? Words like, how, when, or, why, can also be used, as well as dates, e.g. 2020. The algorithm prefers more current and relevant videos because they appear more up-to-date. Consider the title of the video that you are currently watching. You know what you can expect. It's also algorithm-friendly. You can find out more about SEO techniques. If SEO interests you, leave a comment, and we may make a video. Description and tags. The tags are what you use to describe your YouTube video. It should be relevant to the content of your video and your industry. Be specific. Please remember simple and remember to keep that most people won't even read the description. The more YouTube algorithm understands your content, the better. The more it is used, the easier it will be to decide when it should be shown to interested parties. In summary, there are two types of content you need to create. You might even be able to alternate between them. First, create easily shared content that your existing fan base will love. Second, content people actively seek out and can be found easily. That's all. Let us know what you think. Did you find this information helpful? These strategies, how will you use them? Comment below to share your thoughts. Don't also forget to subscribe to our channel now. Don't miss out. Our content covers finance, entrepreneurship and investing. It takes just a click to join the family. You can also share this video with a friend, and you will be the one. Take care. English.